finally, we're getting a first look at the combat mechanics, cover system, and scale of the upcoming tactical war game, Headquarters World War II. The developer's unique approach to the combat mechanics in Headquarters World War II not only increases the player's immersion, but it also reduces the amount of randomness in these tactical games. As you can see, you have Bullseye, Hit, Graze, and Miss. This mechanic truly stands out because it allows the players to see the exact amount of damage they're going to do to an enemy tank. Bullseye, 4 times 3 Hit, 4 times 2 Graze, 4 times 1 And then lastly, Miss for a 0. I really want you to focus on this GIF because it shows the varied terrain that's in Headquarters World War I and how the mechanics are going to affect troops that are currently in defensive positions or in different types of destructible terrain. There's also a cover system to Headquarters World War II. We're getting a bunch of information right now. And as you can see, height is going to play a big role. That Tiger tank was behind low cover. Therefore, that cover is not going to provide any defensive properties to that Tiger tank. Cover, line of sight, and height all play a major role in how you're going to approach targets on the battlefield. It's going to affect your target's line of sight and how they're going to engage you. It's also going to reduce your hit chance and further complicate things for you on the battlefield, as you can see it with this Tiger tank. Morale also plays a big role in Headquarters World War II, so whether you miss or get a bullseye, the morale is always going to drop the same. Finally, we're getting a first look at the actual scale of Headquarters World War II. Here we have several vehicles in combat engaging each other on the battlefield, and I find it to be quite immersive and tactically challenging. Players will need to master the line of sight mechanics and understand how each of these tanks are going to affect each other's armor. Remember that armor plays a big role in Headquarters World War II. So whether you're approaching a Tiger on the flank or head on, it's going to adjust how much damage you do to that vehicle. Lastly, since this channel is mostly about military strategy, tactics, and doctrine and seeing it applied to strategy games, I really want you to take an in-depth look at this battlefield and tell me how you would approach it in the com comments down below. I find this battlefield to be unique and tactically challenging because you have several water crossings to deal with as well as several tree lines that you need to deal with. Line of sight is going to be obscured and you also have a heavily fortified house. Lastly, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll make some future videos. Peace.